Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Poke Rogue. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do another run. Since the last time I have played one other run, I managed to beat like a, a gym leader or two. I think I beat Norman. And uh, I also managed to get some really sweet captures, which I'm super pleased about. Uh, sorry about the last episode being a little bit quiet. I thought it was going to be like much quieter than it was, but um, yeah, surprisingly enough, it was it was pretty much good volume to start, and then I ruined it. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, I love Meowth. Minus attack Meowth is not the kind of Meowth that I love. I really, really want to get a plus attack um, technician Meowth. I think that'd be great. Been loving that. Uh, I also have access to some Snorlax action. Snorlax is pretty crazy. He's got the problem, or I should say in this scenario, she's got the problem of uh, not having speed. <laughs> so they're, they're really good in like boss fights and stuff, but they get worn down easily. So definitely, a, like, a troublesome one to start with. We're just gonna look over our options here. Um, I actually really like the level up moveset on uh, Hop Hip to Skip Loom and even into Jump Luff. You get uh, Leech Seed, Synthesis, um, Sleep Powder, Stun Powder, Poison Powder, um, all, all the drains. So very sustainable Mon. Um, pretty solid. And only cost one. Which is definitely of note. You just kind of sit them in the, the back line and they become useful later. Uh, Zigzagoon, not really that interesting to me. Munchlax is one cheaper than Snorlax, so I feel like starting Snorlax makes more sense. But let's take a look at the moveset on Munchlax. Tackle Lick Defense Curl, okay. Noted. We also managed to, to capture a Cottony. Who obviously could become pretty strong. Drillbur would uh, scale up insanely so. That would be a good one. Fletchling. Who else have we got? Oh yeah, I managed to get a steel type. Steel poison. Would be pretty good as a starting unit. Hmm. Okay. So let's let's just grab some ones that jump out at me. Let's let's grab Froki, because uh I don't think I've had one of these guys in my party yet, and I know Greninja is pretty crazy. Go ahead and grab a, a Drillber, and we've got room for another three. So, I, I could also go with a 2-1, but I, I think that having like three Mons is kind of a sweet spot. So we'll, we'll go for that. Who should my last three be? Um, we've, we've got one... It's like ground steel. We've got water. It turns into water dark. That would be some good coverage. It's good. This becomes poison ground. Poison flying could be good. Zubat sucks pretty hard early. But Crobat becomes pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a tough call. What if we just go with a, a Bulbasaur? It sounds decent. Let's go with that. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, that that uh, that starting it, like the beginning this game is like one of the hardest parts, <laughs> especially as they add more and more units. It's tough, but we're we're gonna be cruising now. Uh, I'm definitely going to take an early X attack. That's pretty good. We've got a Spearow. Um, we definitely want to try and capture a Spearow. I haven't had one yet. We're just going to stick with what we've got. But I wanted to check... Okay, so we've got Hardy Nature. And I don't know how that is for base stats. I'll be honest. I, I, I can't just eyeball some base stats and be like, Oh yeah, that's a good one. I, I have no idea. Let me go ahead and throw in a ball here. There we go. Not too shabby. That is maybe close to max attack, which is pretty good. Ooh, we got an Ultra Ball. EXP Charm. You see it, you take it. It's just that easy. Little Pup. I've been really liking the normal types, actually. Um, 
across these runs. Norlax has been great. Meowth has been really good. Just just any any normal type that I can get my hands on. I'm very welcome to have them in the party sort of thing. Oh, love it, love it, love the free turn. Thank you, little pup. Little pup could uh, evolve into Stoutland, which could become uh, part of a sand team. <laughs> it's it's a little bit maybe ahead of where we are right now. That's a potential hydro pump, which is kind of crazy. I mean, I, I guess we might as well give Froakie Hydro Pump. That'll be good in a boss battle. And we've got a Zigzagoon. What does, uh, what does, what, what does Drillbur have for abilities? Mud Slap, Rapid Spin. Yikes. <laughs> Not great. I'll be honest. It'd be nice to get a hold of... Um, it'd be nice to get a hold of Razor Leaf early on Bulbasaur. Let's go ahead and send out Bulbasaur and see if we can get some some early stuff. Also, Zigzagoon has uh, Sand Attack, which it might prioritize because it's a ground type move, and we're part poison. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just like overreaching with my thought process. I ha I ran a Linoon the uh, the previous run and it went really bad. Like they were not useful at all. Even though they're they're like great at learning moves, they're not great at pretty much anything else. That's a really early EXP all. Super happy about that. I'll show you the ropes of how to really use Pokemon. Right, good luck, Helia. It's a, that's that's a Rotata. Okay, no longer is it a Rotata. All right, so Poison Sting definitely incoming. Or does this thing learn like? There's no way at level four it learns a Bug type move. So we'll, we'll just we'll just hit it. <laughs> Probably gonna swap. Oh wow, string shot. Whoa, this is how this is how it's really done. I never would have guessed. All right, nice little level up there. Don't mind if I did. We got growth potential for like a sun team, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do a any sort of wacky team like that. I, I don't know if we're even gonna make it to a point where we can make a team like that. It's one of those things. Okay, just gonna hit him with a tackle. Save our vine whips for later. There we go, another level up. We'll have. I, I don't. Is overgrowth like 40%? I, I can't recall. I can't recall. I might want to get rid of this uh, one backline unit I have. It's not really doing me much good. I think we definitely want some extra Pokeballs just so we can really start spam catching. That is a male combi, aka worthless. I'll catch it, and then I'm just gonna eat it, because it's it's literally pointless. The most pointless unit of all time. We're gonna get Bulbasaur out of here, because it's just not a very good matchup. We'll we'll bring out Spiro. And Drillbur can stay out. So Spiro can go for Peck on Combi. And we'll go ahead and get a mud slap going on Rattata. Oh the quick attack, that's rude. That's very rude. Oh my god, that's nasty. What the hell? <laughs> I'm getting bullied in this double battle. Do I do I hit him with the, the fat hydro pump? Bug it, we ball. Okay. Um little rapid spin action, get the extra speed going. Just extreme overkill. <laughs> Exceedingly overkill. Love to see it. Okay, nice. I will catch the combi. Oh, the struggle bug. Oh my god, it hits two? It hits two units? What the hell, man? Get in the ball and stay there forever. Oh my god, he's killing my team. He's soloing my team. Why am I losing to a bug? A male combi of all things. Bruh, am I losing to a male combi? Is there something I don't know about male combi? Is he, like, impossible to catch? Holy shit, he's impossible to catch. I'm throwing. <laughs> I'm throwing so hard. Okay, just kill him. Just kill him. We're in a we're in a just kill him moment. This is the this is a a knowledge check that I didn't have. He apparently Combi has an absurd catch rate. My bad. My bad. I didn't know. Now we do. Now we do know, and we're not gonna make that mistake again. There's EXP balance. Um Frig, dude. <laughs> we gotta take that. Oh, Rookity! Pog! 
We gotta catch Rookity. Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna die immediately. <laughs> okay, uh Lamel, please? Please? No, I'm so pissed. <laughs> oh god. All right. Well, that was uh, that was the worst run of all time. You know what? Sometimes that just happened. That was a knowledge check. We learned something new. It's fine. Copium. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with a with an Electa Buzz. That's what we're. <laughs> Good lord! What a terrible start. Electa Buzz. We're gonna need something else to balance that out. Um, we've got five. Do we have any other, like, five cost units? I don't know if we do. Hmm. Hmm. We've got some four cost units. Let's grab the room and we'll wrap up with a hop it. That seems okay. Run this gang. Alright, let's try again. <laughs> this time I'm not gonna throw, I promise. Actually, I guess I shouldn't promise that, because that was... Listen, I, I, I learned. I learned. I lost and I learned. Um, we're gonna take an X-Defense early, because that's... It's just nice. Maybe very dumb, I don't know. Let's see how much the quick attack does here. I should be catching a patch rat, probably. Wow, nice crit. Good crit. Love that. Everybody loves the critical hits. It did seem to have some pretty good stats. Okay, I think we're gonna take the one that came out of the... Oh, that's a Spinarak! I love Spinarak. Very cool little guy. This is definitely a, a Varum pivot. And I don't have any good moves at all. Just the worst moves. Thankfully, Spinarak probably isn't going to have much to hit me either. That's good. Just going to be able to chill. Love to see it. There we go. Should be an easy capture. Very good. Ooh, max speed, near max attack. That's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Sassy Mint. Plus Bedef, minus speed. I don't think that's something any of us want. But um, I will definitely take a... The, the, a rare candy on Electabuzz, who seems to have a pretty slow level up based on what I've seen so far. Uh, we're gonna go back into Electabuzz. And we'll hit this guy with a Thundershock. I just... Little Pup hits pretty hard. Ooh, we got Static. Nice. I guess we'll throw another ball. I don't know if I should be catching Mons early because it, like... Wow, that thing's awful. What truly terrible stats. X speed is nice. Um, the other option is the super lure, but I don't think we're really set for double battles. Let's let's go for the speed. And we've got Amy. Here we go. Eccentric. Really? Really eccentric. Oh my god, it lived. Can't believe it lived. Can't believe it survived. Okay, what's, what's their next mon, though? Now that we're level 7, surely. Surely! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like the, I like the buzz. He's got some stats. He's got some stats. He's a decent decent little dude. Carbos. Speed by a lot. That's that's good. Um, You know, like a sweeping evire sounds pretty cool. That sounds really cool. Maybe we can get like a motor box early. That would be really awesome. Um, we're just gonna stick with this, and I'm just gonna keep killing guys, I think. That's kind of where I'm at right now. So I just want to mitigate the amount of damage. That's the one thing I really liked about Meowth, is that, like, Fake Out just gave you the ability to just go crazy. We're, we're just going nuts with Electa Buzz here. We're just gonna keep being a bastard and one-shot killing everything. <laughs> Why not? Who's Who's gonna stop me? Uh, sharply raises a random stat, or we could get a super potion. I'm, I'm gonna heal up, and we might as well heal up Electabuzz, because he's kind of the, the only guy right now. Ivy. Here we go. The Menace. The Menace herself. Starting with a Tepig today. 
It's cool that she uh, runs different teams, too. I, wa I wonder if they're based on your team or if they're fully random. Okay. I'm like, the buzz is now maxed. Oh, man. We're XP waste. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> we're just cheesing with one mon. That's what we're doing right now. There we go. All right, some actual Pokeballs will be nice. That's an Abra. Okay, we, we just... We don't have any sleep stuff yet. Poppip doesn't have that just yet. Let's, uh... Let's just throw a ball and hope. Come on, baby! Hell yeah! Abra start. Too bad they only have teleport. <laughs> it seems like... You just kind of, like, sit them in your party, and, and one day maybe they'll be useful. It's really that kind of mon. I'm gonna get rid of little pop. Maybe we can evolve them into Kadabra, and then we'll have like a useful party member. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Another rare candy. We could probably use that on Varum, or we could use that on Abra. I don't remember what level Abra evolves into Kadabra, but the sooner this thing starts being able to attack, the better. So let's go that line. And we've got the Lechonk. Varum could probably stall this thing out forever. And after this fight, we get to full heal anyway, so let's do that. I'm gonna do, uh, some smogs, because I, I should be able to land, uh... Wow, that was not very effective. And it still did really good damage. There's the poison. That's what I was looking for. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I might want to get Varum out of here. Another echoed voice and we go down. Let's go ahead and swap into Spinarak as a sack and then we'll uh, swap back into, um, swap back into Electabuzz. There we go. And I don't really want to hit him again. I think they're probably going to die. I want to try to get the, the level 8 on our team. That seems pretty good. There we go. Pretty decent oh, all around stats and plus attack minus attack is... Pretty garbage with this move set. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if you can have a physical attacking Lechonk or not. But um, based on the move set that I have right now, it's not looking great. There we go. First little heal of the run. Thank you very much. Now what do we have? A Poochiana, and we got a level 16 level cap now. The level cap increase is an interesting mechanic in this game. It's a, quite different from gyms, but it does work pretty well. This should be a pretty likely capture, I want to say. Yeah, there we go. Ooh! Um... That's pretty good offenses and kind of not great anything else. Let's think about it really quick. A dark type. Probably over Patrat. I'm, I'm, I'm shedding my normals pretty early this time around. That's kind of the goal. Hopip is gonna become good soon. The the it's just nice to have them sitting there sit in your party and eventually they become really strong. Ice Fang sounds amazing if we can land that on anyone. Puchiana gets it. We could get some I mean Ice Stab is just really good. You can't you can't go wrong with Ice Stab. It's not great on that unit, mind you, but I'm happy to have it. I'm gonna just keep hitting that Thundershock. And, uh, I don't care if it kills, that's fine. <laughs> I'll, t I'll take whatever I can get. I'm very interested in having my Electabuzz be as strong as possible going into these fights. And speaking of which, we got another rare candy. Everyone's still pretty behind. I want to take a look at, uh, the stats on this guy. He's at... Eh, I don't know. It's not really what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, I forgot that I have um, Egg Gotcha, don't I? I have uh, I have Shiny Pull. Let's see. It's a common. I don't know what that means. When when do they when do they evolve? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Com. Okay don't have enough vouchers. Oh, this is worth five pulls. Okay, what's what's this do? I don't... I don't know what's happening. Is this good? This seems bad. 
This seems like I'm getting incredibly unlucky. Wow, five common eggs. Whoa. Whoa, wait. 25. Move up. I don't even know what that turtle thing is. Is this your shiny percent chance over the course of a run? I almost don't want to spend the 25 one yet. I'm going to not spend the 25 one because I don't understand that yet. But if, if you know where I should spend that, please let me know in the comments down below. Because, uh, yeah, that's that seems like a super rare thing that they gave you, or they gave me really early that I'm, I'm just going to completely squander if I use it without previous knowledge. Ooh, swift. So yeah, please let me know what the, the heck to do with that. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not much of a charge, charge user, I'll be honest. Maybe I'm a giant noob for not using stuff like that, but, you know. Unless it says Swords Dance, I'm not really that interested. I'd rather just, like, one-hit KO everything. Maybe that's, like, the, the Pokemon campaign brain, though, where you just, it doesn't matter what your team is, you just one-hit KO everything. Because you're over-leveled by default. Holy speed and attack and... Yeah. Yeah, you're in. You're in for sure. Uh... There's, there's an ice move on Poochiana. I want to keep that. And, uh, like I said, I, I want to show off the, the value that Hoppip has. Eventually. Charm is definitely not it. Ultra Balls are kind of pog. Alright. Being approached by uh, the, some some people call Bidoof God. I don't know. Sounds like blasphemy to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So that's a joke. <laughs> Obviously, the greatest mon. I don't know why people got so into Bidoof. Honestly, he's, he's not that interesting. He's he's uh, he is literally a doof. He's by design a doof. I'm just picking random moves. I am sorry. <laughs> I did not do any intelligent things in that battle. That was pretty bad. Um, nice. Got a bunch of level ups. I might want to potion up. Let's do it. I'm going to be smart. A lot of the time I find myself like never ever using that sort of thing. I mean, I probably should. I think having, like, an X attack going is pretty great. Double battle, obedient Pokemon, selfish Pokemon, Pokemon have unique characteristics. Addison and Deborah. Are we in a double battle? Petlil and Chingling. Okay. What, you're not letting me pick my, my guys? We're just going in? All right. Um... <laughs> Hop it, you splash! <laughs> Just use the worst move in the game. I'm not doing that. Uh, Varum has poison type, and that'll handle Petlil in the long run. Okay. And they do be focusing in on Elect the Buzz a little bit, which I guess makes sense. Finish off Chingling, and we'll get a little. Smog going on Petlil. I doubt it'll be enough on its own. But it'll be a good start. Nice. Another level up for Verum. I don't know if Verum is good or like even what they do. I just know that they're like a the the car from the Scarlet and Violet, right? That the, the bad guy team uses. They just trick it out and make it a cool ride. <laughs> but you can't get that version for some reason. Ow. They're killing me. Joltik! Everybody's favorite little guy. I mean, how can he not be your favorite little guy? Look at him. Look at that little guy. I'm gonna try to finish off the... Wow, Swift is a multi-hit move. Goddamn. Um, what a multi-hit move it is. Some pretty good damage. Another level up for Varum. Electabuzz might go down in this fight if we don't swap him out on this next move. Electra Web. Uh, well, I mean, we're we're literally elect. Oh wow, that's a spread move. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that's a spread move. Okay. Sprigatito. 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 I I I don't know. I don't know. That's the one. That's the one that stands up, right? 
I mean, I guess that's all the cat Pokemon in every modern Pokemon game. The old ones, they never used to stand up. Back in my day, I guess Meowth starts off standing up and turns into, like, a more normal cat. Uh, I guess we'll send out Hoppip. And we will commence the smogging, I, I suppose. Me sending a Hoppip out to die. <laughs> oh my god, Electroweb. Just ripped me. Okay, we, we do have ice, uh, ice Fang, which would go pretty good here if we can get it off. Please. And the Swift. Okay. I like the buzz. Saving the day. Come on. We're definitely getting outsped by the starter, right? Yeah, but thankfully they went after the, the wrong Mon. Spooky. Very spooky. That could have very easily gone wrong. It's super easy to, like, really push it in this game. And just, like, never ever heal. And just go on nothing. It's such a big mistake, and I keep doing it. <laughs> I am happy. Happy, I tell you. Don't look at me like that. Alright. It tells me they're not happy. Big Nugget. Big Nugget. I'm going to take the big nugget. I'm going to heal first, though. Um, I mean, we're green. But I'm, I'm a little afraid. I'll be honest. I feel like things could go wrong pretty easily here. We're paralyzed still. Ah, just hit him with a Thundershock. One tanky Lechonk. I hope I can get the thing that allows me to see what the opponent's stats are before we catch them. Because that seems really good. I mean we're we're guaranteed keeping like the buzz, right? Let's let's just funnel everything into him. That seems like a great idea, right? Squovit turns into Greedent. Oh my god, look at how derpy he is. Holy shit. Why, are, why is he so cross-eyed? Is it normally like that? This guy did not come through well in the pixel art, I gotta say. <laughs> he looks like he's not gonna be able to see straight. Oh my god. Yeah, you can, you can stay in the box. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, Soul Dew. Increase the influence of a Pokemon's nature on its stats by 10%. Somebody's got to have a good positive nature, right? What's your nature like? Bashful? Isn't that neutral nature? <laughs> it's literally neutral. <laughs> Doesn't help me at all. Uh, how about you? You got a minus pedef plus speed. Is that right? I don't remember if the red is good or if the blue is good. I'll be honest. I'm a little concerned. This one's sassy. That uh, seems a little slow. What, what do you got? Plus attack? <laughs> the worst. God damn it. Just the worst. What about you, Hoppip? Right, this is plus attack minus speed. I don't really want to be minus speed. Especially not more minus speed. Soldu uh, decidedly sucks here. I could give it to Electabuzz and just like hope I can change it to a good type later. That's probably an okay play. Like if we're th if we're thinking super long term, if Electabuzz is like the, one of the end game members and everybody else is gonna go, then it makes sense just to give it to him. Because like Bashful, it's it's not gonna hurt us now, so it's fine. I think I think that's reasonable reasoning. Maybe may kind of a nothing take for now, but that's okay. We got the map. Map gives us more options, so I'm I'm, I'm liking that for sure. Centret turns into one of the funniest guys. He's, he's he's the meme Pokemon. Makes me kind of want to have him. Oh, you little shit! How dare you? Get in the ball. Stay in. There we go. Plus attack, minus attack. 
and they've got really bad stat spread. I think that I, I don't think that's it. Okay, like the buzz is already maxed out. Oh, shockwave! What you learned shockwave? Normally that's like a TM move, right? It's a it's a guaranteed hit move, which is really good. I don't need lair. Imagine needing to reduce defense ever. Couldn't be me. Um, we're already at m the max level. Could rare candy Abra. How close you to leveling? Oh my god. I'm I'm gonna check and see if they keep the extra XP. Cause in my head they might. That is correct. It shall be I and my esteemed water types. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. Whoops, it's the water type. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> imagine, imagine being a water type trainer. It would be a real shame. It would be a real shame if they were a water type trainer. <laughs> Look at this dumbass with this stupid boomer on his head. Get him out of here. Oh my god. Unbelievable. What a goobus. Lose me? I don't believe this. Better believe it. I'm literally your hard counter. No option. Okay, so we could... Oh, we could lake. We could lake. <laughs> Do we want to just keep bullying water types? <laughs> I kind of love it, but I also would like to get some more... Nah, nah, let's just keep bullying water types. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, if they give me the option, we'll just just have... Oh, man. Do we want to have all the mons that are awful to have in your party and then eventually evolve into something good? Is that a... That's an awful idea, isn't it? It's a truly terrible idea. As I say it out loud, I realize how bad of an idea that is. We're just gonna kill them. We're just gonna end them. Alright, are we just gonna, like, run through and one hit? Oh, a seismic toss. Wow. That's gonna do 12 damage, right? Perfect. I mean, I guess if we get into level 100, it'll do 100 damage, but that's still pretty bad on a primate. Uh, I could use some more bulls. I'm all out. What is the... What in the shit is that? Uh... Oh, this thing turns into that weird water spider. That has, like, a billion damage for no reason, right? So this thing's actually is, is kind of good. Okay, let's try to catch it. I'm gonna use Swift. In the hopes that I don't one-hit kill it. My speed! Okay. Um... I don't know what the catch rate is, but we've got it low health. Okay, well, we're gonna swap over to Ultra Ball. And I guess now that it's parried, that's even better. Except for the fact that I'm gonna have a paired member in my party. Damn! Pretty good stats. Not bad. Not too bad. Um... That room has really fallen behind, isn't he? Maybe because I'm literally never using him. You ever consider that? Um, we got a water bug type that we're looking to join in on this party. Uh, we've already got a grass type, so we'd have a water grass. We just need a fire then. We have a fire water grass core, which is pretty good. We've also got the the dark psychic fighting thing going on, which isn't bad. I think I hate to do it. I think Hopic is the one to go here. I didn't really get to make use of them this time. I wonder if I should have just left them out of the party to begin with. There might be merit to having, like... Oh, there's an egg hatching! What does this mean? Is this my gotchas? Ew! Why? I mean, it's got crazy stats, actually. Look at that. That's a... Indeedy has been added. Moonblast. Okay. Fuck you, LeChonk. Actually, that's pretty good to LeChonk, but still fuck you. Power trip. Okay. So you can get egg moves for your guys, which is pretty neat. We already had this cat. I guess it, it now has perfect max HP, so that's that's good. And Sucker Punch Start is pretty good. That's, that's not bad. <laughs> this fucking guy. 
He's gonna stay lonely in the box forever. For all time. Oh, it's a shiny! Wow! Wowie out. It's a female shiny! Let's freaking go! That's awesome. I'm definitely gonna run the- it's Impidimp. Oh my god. What the fuck?! <laughs> Look at them stats! Goddamn! It's like all- is, is he perfect in like three stats? That's nuts. That guy's- he's got close combat- that's gonna be so broken, what the hell? I love Kabuto. This is what Gotcha is all about. I'm just getting a bunch of free shit. This is great. I love that. Reviver Seat. Revives a holder to half HP upon fainting. Eh, seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. We'll go ahead and give that to Electabuzz, like everything else. That's a, a freaking Choodle. Choodle is pretty good. So is Slowpoke, but we already have a Psychic type. I could, uh, I could swap out. I could swap out my Psychic type. I don't know. I, I want to get Choodle off the, the board right away. Maybe I go for, like, a Swift and then Low Kick. I don't think it's going to do that much damage, but... Wow! Choodle got messed up. Okay. I'm surprised. Surprisingly effective. Ouch. Yeah, we could we could use some more active mons. Although this will mean that we have two I don't know, do I want two water types? What do we have to cover our water types? Uh I mean do Peter do already kind of covers a little bit. And I'd like to buzz as a check. Into electrics, at least. I don't know. The question is, do I keep the Abra or not? I, th I think we invest. Let's invest in the Abra. Let's do it. There we go. I've made my decision. I think I think at like level 16 or something, it'll get the the special ability. Uh, what does the P next next to assurance mean? Does anybody know? Love to know. Okay, there we go level 13. Yes, yeah, so we're pretty close to getting there. A uh, super potion would be super nice here. Gets us all the way back up the full. Goldeen and Ducklet. What the f... What is wrong with Ducklet, dude? Look at that dude. Look at that guy. <laughs> guy needs to see a doctor or something. Look at him. Look at that thousand yard stale stare. What is going on there? Okay, well... Sea King and Goldeen are just like the asses to Mons, I gotta say. One thing that I'm realizing playing this after playing so many other um, Pokemon likes that aren't Pokemon is that uh, Pokemon has just so many useless guys, it's really frustrating. Like, I wish I could just see a Goldeen and be excited about it, but I can't. Because they're so bad. They're so unbelievably bad, it's not even funny. It's just sad. And, like, there's nothing- I guess there's nothing wrong with there being, like, a bad Mon here and there. I'm getting bodied by- <laughs> I'm getting bodied by them, aren't I? It's happening. It's happening. Uh, talking shit and I'm getting hit. But you know what I mean. Like, the, the scaling does matter. Oh my god, I'm getting blown out by this combo. I'm clearly not set up for this. Okay, I guess we're doing this. And we will quick attack here and Ultra Ball. We can't Ultra Ball, so I guess I just have to swap to Dupiter. 
Okay. And then we'll just catch Ducklet and add them to the party, I guess. Just so that way we've got a living member. Good lord. <laughs> There's... That duck is ruthless, man. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna have Ducklet in the party. We'll see. Oh my god. We're not gonna have anybody in the party at this rate. He's killing everyone. What's his deal? Why is he critting so much? Is this guy... Is this duck actually crazy? Like, I know Goldina is shit, but I don't know if this duck is big pecs. I'm assuming that's why Aerial Ace was doing crazy damage. Is this guy good, or is my party just that bad? I think we're gonna dump Varum. They're, they're a little too far behind at this point. I'm not gonna miss Varum. They were not that helpful. <laughs> the game said I'll miss you, but that's not true. It's in no way true. I'm gonna go ahead and hit revive on Dupider, because I would like to see them become good. Actually, let, let's revive Abra, because like that, that one's almost useful at this point, right? Ooh, it's a boss fight. Here we go. Hopefully this works out. Don't don't kill me. Don't kill me in my entire party. Come on, elect the buzz, just sweep them all. Just murder everyone single-handedly. As as a as an Electabuzz is to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Blaze. No, that that checks out. That that makes sense. Blaze is pretty good. Thankfully, we had that revive seed. All the level ups. Don't mind if I do. Thunder Wave. We're we're not that kind of gamer. I'll I'll put that on a utility mon. This this guy's my my kill every guy mon. That's a viper. Um Yeah, this is this is really just it's not even Electabuzz and friends, it's just Electabuzz. <laughs> I'm looking at my party and I'm like, ah shit. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> what have I done? Okay. It's okay, just just level up 40 times on like the buzz and everything's gonna be fine. One more level on our Abra and we'll have a Kadabra. That thing is gonna die in one hit and I'm happy about it. Thank goodness. We love to see it. We hit a ma we hit our max level again. Gonna continue ignoring moves that drop defenses and stuff. Yes! Abra Kadabra! Here we go. I would. I don't know how I turn them into Alakazam, but even Kadabra is kind of busted. So happy to have him on the party. I think the the strat is either glass cannons or um, j just like stall mons that can heal forever. But right now I'm I'm going the glass cannon line. All right. EXP all. By the way, if I make it more than an hour, I'll probably just go ahead and cut this into parts, or maybe I'll have it edited down. One of the two. One of the... Yeah, one of those two, probably. We'll see. I do think that this could make for some, like, good edited content, but for these first couple, I think we'll, we'll try to just keep it intact, and you let me know what you think. Kadab Kadabra can do things now, but I imagine Dupiter would be pretty good here. Let's kill the lower level duck, and we will prime the higher level duck. I guess they're, they don't have their psychic typing yet, so the bug type moves aren't going to be as effective as uh, I might want them to be. Alright. Ouch. What the hell? Why? <laughs> I hate... I hate Pokemon RNG so much. Oh my god. Why can't they just get rid of RNG and make it like, oh yeah, things just do one day with like the correct amount of damage every time rather than instantly killing you at random. Uh, I care more about Dupider than I care about Ducklet, so we're gonna swap that one out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Ball me? Come on. Yeah, get in there. 
Uh, this duck sucks. We don't want it. We already have enough ducks in our party. I'm not gonna make a full duck team. What do you take me for? Uh, super potions actually more efficient for money after looking at it. And another super potion or some pokeballs. I feel like pokeballs are gonna be less useful long term here, so kind of avoiding them. We'll get Ducklet the extra HP. Ooh, Flamigo's pretty cool. Flamigo is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Extremely convenient. Oh, wait, what? Oh. I thought Detect was Endure, and for some reason I'm still confused. From the previous battle. Is that what happened? Is that a thing? That doesn't make any sense, does it? It doesn't seem right at all. I wonder if that's a bug. It doesn't seem normal. Bubble Beam, I guess. I guess you can learn Bubble Beam over Water Gun. Defog could be helpful. If they start, like, getting competitive with their teams, you never know. Maybe I have to start dealing with, like, Stealth Rocks or Spikes or Toxic Spikes or whatever. Or anything along that line, for that matter. I guess we'll do one of these. Wow, it's a magic herb. Um, just gonna bring in Duke, Duke, the the, the Duke lit. Hit him with an aerial ace. I'm gonna try and catch this one. Bubble beam hopefully won't kill. Bruh, <laughs> Ducklet, please. You really gotta make my life hard. Aqua ring. That's that's a good move, right? The user envelops itself in a veil made of water. It regains HP every turn. Yeah, that shit seems pretty good. Not gonna lie. Infestation doesn't seem that helpful. In uh, this situation. Um. Just another heal on Electabuzz is fine. Lotad, my boy! I love Lotad. This is Lombre, but, you know. The evolutionary line is there. That's the important part. Look at that HP range. Get in my balls. Stay in. Come on. Hey, there we go. Pretty good stats. And we have Lotan as a starter now. Um, not. St <laughs> Are we going try water? Are we making a rain team? <laughs> I bet, I bet you Ducklet turns into, like, a, just a hurricane sweeper. Which would go well in rain. Oh my god, what if we do rain team? We're actually kind of building a rain team. That might be the, the line. I didn't really see it at first, but now I do. Because it rain, rain dish lombre, or, or lotad, or whatever. The ludicolo. Dupider gets rain boosted, aqua, whatever the fucks. Just, just put aqua, then attack. And then, um, I like the buzz is just spams thunder. And then we need, um, I guess we're looking for like a polytoad. And then Poochiana and Kadabra are like on the chopping block. Ooh, it's a Drizzile. Edgy middle form. Um, do you think Lombre can take him? Let's see. I mean, maybe, maybe the Mega Drain will be enough. That would be nice. It'd be pretty nice if we got to... Just test out the Lombre. It's not bad. Stop looking at me like that! <laughs> God damn it, he's... He's reducing my stats so much. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than him hitting me. But, like, are you serious? At what point do you realize this isn't gonna work for you? Oh, he's, he's binding me. Not like this. Okay. Honestly, Lombre's been kicking stupid amounts of ass. In this fight. Uh... Fuck it. It'll work out. Nice. 
High speed, high defense, calm, so that's plus attack, or split spadef minus attack. It's not bad. The <laughs> the water team is is like actually happening. I mean, what's the worst that could happen having a pure water team? I have control over where I go. I I don't have to go fight anybody that has an anti-water squad. Feather Dance. I don't remember what that does. Let's take a look. The user covers the target's body with a mass of... Down? A mass of down that hard, harshly lowers its attack stat. Okay, so it's it's mine. It's 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 growl, but good, better growl. I'm I still don't think better growl is gonna be good enough. Sadly, do I want to go to the beach or the swamp? I am literally just destined to to fight only water types. <laughs> We're going to the beach because the swamp might have poison types, which would kind of crush my team. Speaking of poison types, it's this fucker. Fun fact: I have a shiny of Marini. But it's a ruthless Marini, not a not a regenerator Marini. I got it in uh, sword, in fact, and uh, that was around the time I started full time streaming. Was actually on sword. Very cool. Very cool. All right. That said, that that Marini's not coming along for this journey. We're gonna take the great ball. Oh, there's ground types. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, get Electabuzz out of there. I don't want. I don't want him involved. Ducklet seems like a or Drizzile seems good here. Lombre can loam stay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what I was going for there. Uh, Water pulse me and Mega drain me. All right, there goes Wormadam. Does Santa Gas become good? Pretty sure Wormadam is bad. Not sure about Sandagast. Okay, not bad. That's that's a lot of level ups, which is great. That is a perfect catching range. We can just go for a great ball here. This would be a ghost type. Ghost types are pog. But <laughs> those stats. And that moveset really doesn't inspire much. But the four spadef? Really? You just have you have no spadef uh, stats at all? I mean, obviously that's not what they're act that that's their IVs. Just to be clear, they don't have sport four spadef total, but you know, still pretty bad. Sucker punch would be great. I'm definitely never using tearful look. Listen. If this were competitive, I'd be I'd be taking those those like random extra things like feather dance, which could actually help me. But in this, we just need to kill guys fast. That's that's pr oh, it's Krabby! <laughs> yes, Krabby's sick. Just add the the crab hammer out of a Krabby. Krabby has a hundred attack, a hundred base attack, NFE. Not fully evolved. That's kind of crazy. All their other stats are complete detritus, but they do go sicko mode with the attack. I'm sorry, Krabby. <laughs> I, I overdid it. I didn't think it was going to happen, but it happened. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Growl mindlessly. We, we, uh, we <laughs> I feel like such a giant noob getting rid of those moves. I, it, it really brings me back to my childhood of exclusively taking the... Candy! Increase the number of levels added by rare candies. What? It's a, the rare candies are just better now? That doesn't seem fair at all. It seems pretty crazy to me. Okay, we're gonna hit him with a Thundershock and hope that it doesn't Oko. It did not Oko. You're supposed to poison me first, idiot. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, uh, hit him with a swift. Stop. <laughs> I'm getting stalled out. Are you serious? Okay, ultra ball me. She's not getting out of this one. There we go. 
Ooh, those are some good stats. Except for the Spatak being literally negative. And it's Merciless and not Regenerator. If it were Regenerator, I would take it, but it's it's not. Like getting a Regenerator core in this would probably be pretty nuts. I can imagine there's quite a few different combos that just completely blow this game out. Okay, Rare Candy is now worth two, so that's kind of sick. Let's take a look at... Uh, we're, we're probably going to be spamming like the buzz, so we don't need to really worry about the levels there. Do Piter's falling behind? Um, I, th I think we just, just send it. Headbutt? Really? You want to learn headbutt? Your head is covered in water. Isn't that going to, like, not work at all? It just doesn't seem that good. It doesn't seem like that would be effective at all. Oh no! Ack! You made me lose a bite! What are you going to do about it? What are you asking me, Chase? What the hell? <laughs> Guess I'm gonna fight you. Oh, that's, that's where we're going with this. Because I'm certainly not doing anything else about it. Alright. Once again, I like the buzz real good when you get to pick your own adventure. And your own adventure is just bullying water types. <laughs> it's pretty good. Not bad. Alright. Uh, this, is, this is just bullying, and I'm here for it. That's a lot of Rimmer raids. I feel like they could use some more Pokemon diversity on their team, just saying. Alright. Oh, Dewpiter's evolving! He turns into the really scary water spider thing, right? Yeah, and this thing has like the stupid broken ability. Araquanid. And it gets, uh... Some sort of dumb water move at some point. Wait, you get Aqua Ring too? Why does everybody get Aqua Ring? I'm keeping Defog. I'm pretty sure that's more of an offensive guy. Okay. Just forget about it. That's right, I will. Forget this ever happened. Clauncher. This guy gets a really, really high special attack stat. And... I don't remember anything else about them. That's that's the only thing I remember. <laughs> it's very high special attack. Dang it! Okay. Uh, give me give me a great ball. To all the 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 Pokemon gamers out there watching this, do you know all the Pokemon? Because I think I knew all the Pokemon up to like Generation Four, like. I could name them all to you in a row without too much difficulty at all. But in modern day, like, I don't think I could even do that. Like, it's, it's just kind of lost on me. There's, there's too many things to remember. And, ooh, Water Stone. Do we have anybody who evolves via Water Stone? What about the Duck? Nope. What about the Drizzile? Nope, that's a, that's a starter. Why would that do that. What about Lombre? Oh, Lombre evolves via stone. I didn't know. I wonder if a leaf stone would work too. That'd be kind of sick. Ludicolo. Does that mean he's not going to learn any more moves because I evolved him early? Oh, shit. <laughs> stone Pokemon don't learn moves. I may have just completely ruined my Ludicolo. This Mon, I don't, I, just get him off my screen. <laughs> just get him off my screen. But yeah, I was, I, I was such a giant Pokemon nerd when I was a kid. I used to know the, the type calls and like, I, I could like tell you what it is based off like the foot, the footprint and all that sort of thing. Good times. We're definitely giving a like to Buzz the Magna. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, Corfish and Krabby. That's cool. Gen 3 was supposed to be like a Pokemon soft reboot. Which is why they took a lot of the designs and kind of revamped them. Which is pretty cool to think about. And also, like a little alarming that they'd consider that at all. 
I do think Gen 3 has some banger designs, but that might be because I was, like, around that age where Gen 3 was... Like, it wasn't my first game. My first game uh, in the Pokemon series was Blue. So, you know, I, I, I did take all the, the, the normal steps, I guess, depending on how you look at it. But, um, yeah, Gen 3 was, like, my favorite set of games, for sure. Uh, Corfish is great, but, uh, and Crawdon's even better. Crawdon's amazing. It's a pretty good attack stat. But the low speed is a, a deal breaker for me. I need that speed, for sure. Maybe I shouldn't be making decisions off of IVs, but I'm, I'm using them to, like, speed along my decision making. And hopefully that, everybody's okay with that. We're gonna go ahead and get a little heal on our Electabuzz here, since... Uh, it is, like, the, the primary thing carrying us through here. And we've got another Clauncher. I'm gonna go ahead and start leading Ludicolo. Because I think we're, we're just gonna be able to, like, perma-heal and not take any damage at all. Which is kind of a win-win. Pretty good. And let's go ahead and throw out a Great Ball. Hope this works out. I'm just doing my best to catch as many guys as I can. Ooh, good speed. Mega Launcher is the, the special ability. That's what makes them such a, a potent threat. But that low special attack is definitely a deal breaker for me. We're not going to take them along for sure. That's just not going to be a thing. Duckflick got another level up. Max Elixir is definitely not going to be helpful. We'll just take the balls here. Bi Binacle. It's level 30. God damn. Okay. This thing's gonna get blown out by my Ludicolo for sure. <clears throat> okay. Good stuff for phase one. We'll probably just absorb. Please don't get the Omni. Thank goodness that could have been so bad. Nice. They're in range. I'm gonna go for an Ultra Ball throw on here. Ooh, the slash is scary stuff. Goddamn. Okay. Let's see if we can get this capture. Nice. So that's a level 30 with pretty good attack. Minus... Or plus Bidef minus defense with Rock Polish, Tough Claws. It's a decent set. The defense is going to be really low with the low IVs and the minus nature, which isn't great. Let's take a look at it. It is a level 30. We might want to get rid of Ducklet for it. I, th I think that's... Ducklet could be really good... I'm gonna get rid of Kadabra, weirdly enough. Hopefully that's the right play. Because remember, we've, we've kind of got aspirations of a, of a rain team on the go here. Alright. It is an hour in, by the way. I'm, I'm gonna do this last region and then we'll, we'll call it. Let's let's carry on for now, because I'm having a really good time. It's one of those things. This game's hard to stop playing. It's just a lot of fun. Rain dance. We got our first dancer. I oh man. I think yeah, we're, we're taking out the floatzel here for sure. Maybe I should have went for the capture. Manual rain dance setup is a bit of a joke though. Like it's it's just not worth it. Let's be real. Unless we're like, in some sort of super fast-paced setting. Downpour continues. Soul do. Don't mind if I do. Get it? Get it? Don't mind if I soul do? That's the joke. That's what I went for. What about, what about you? Why, is, why does everybody have bad? Why does everybody have bad? What about you? Okay, Ducklet though, minus Bidef for speed, could be good. I could also just stack it on the... Shelter! Shelter's a funny guy. Cloister's pretty cool. Very defensive Mon. Oh, that's a rip. Not catching that one. That probably would have been a, a starter if I managed to catch it, too. It's kind of too bad. Alright. 
More Ultra Ball. I guess we... Yeah, we'll take the money. We can build up our money. Ooh! Swift Swim Dragon Dancing... Not Horsey. What's the... King... Kingdra? That one? That would go pretty hard. That would go pretty dang hard. Let's, uh... Let's hit him with, like, an Absorb. Oh my god, that was way more damage. This Ludicolo is kicking ass. Just gonna put it out there. Rain Dish, look at that. We've got our... They're, they're setting up the combo for me. We were, we're really hoping for a Politoed. Okay, that's... <laughs> I mean, the HP stab being the bottom is awful, but... Um... I think we get rid of... Drizzile, maybe? Drizzile's, like, pretty versatile. Like, they do some pretty good damage. They've got a strong custom, of, or, like, a custom ability. What do you call it? Special move? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Ludicolo's great for this area, though, because they're, they're just, like, hyper-sustaining with the downpour going on. Look at that. Ludicolo, Ludicolo is loving it. Go ahead and put a little bit of HP on our Ludicolo. Sure, why not? Inke. This thing is like a contrary superpower spammer. Pretty good. Pretty good setup, for sure. I don't really have anybody to take them on, really. Drizzile has Sucker Punch. I, I, I could just hit him with, like, Mega Drain, though. Or Bubble Beam. Is higher damage. Okay, maybe a little bit too high a damage. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Air Slash on Ducklet. That would be great. Air Slash is a super strong move. And it's special as opposed to physical. And I'm pretty sure this duck is special, not physical. So we're gonna get rid of the, the Aerial Ace for now. Go ahead and take the Air Slash instead. Not too shabby. Ooh, what's in the Rogue Ball? More Soul Dew. I'm just gonna keep stacking it on Electabuzz and hope that eventually we get the- Wow, it's a Whalmer! Imagine Water Spout. That's all I have to say. Um, we're definitely gonna just do an absurd amount of damage, I imagine. Let's, let's do Swift. How dare they! Unbelievable. Finneon is destined to, to lose here. For sure. I love that we're still on full health. Gonna hit him with another swift. Hopefully the water gun puts uh puts the Whalmer into a good range. That's what I'm banking on here. Nice. Little, little level up a Raquinid getting crunched. That's a great move. Guess we're saying goodbye to Bubble Beam, because let's be honest. It's it's a physical attacking mon anyway. No need to worry about that. Water gun did exactly what I wanted it to, thankfully. Rain dish coming in handy here for sure, and we'll use a great ball. I'm feeling it. Okay. Well, hopefully they continue attacking Ludicolo, because we've got that rain dish just doing work. We're gonna try a great ball again. There we go. Ooh. Very nice stats. Pretty good IVs. We're not we're gonna, not gonna bring this one along with us. It's not really much of a rain dance mon, I would say. Unlike the the rest of our team, who's like super primed to be like a really good rain team. And another nougat. I think I'll take the speed. We're probably closing in on like a boss at this point. Ludicolo's doing a great job bullying everybody, so we're just gonna let him keep doing it. <laughs> he's he's really giving every or all these water types a hard time. We've we've definitely a, to, tuned our team to just bullying water types at this point, which is you know that's that's fun. There's what technically it's optimal because there's more water types than any other type of Pokemon in the game, so. And by in the game, I mean any game. Maybe not in this game, I don't know. I don't know how the math works out for this one. Uh, I mean, Lumberry's pretty good. We'll go ahead and put that on... Uh, Ludicolo, it's, it's good. I could catch another whale. I'm gonna go ahead and bring a light the buzz out for this one. 
If they survive a shockwave, I'll go for it. They did not survive a shockwave. You did not pass the test. Rest in peace. Oh my. Quite a few level ups off of that one. Don't mind if I do. Let me take a little sip here. There we go. Got it. Ooh. Kill a watch roll. This is one of them newfangled birds. It's got Volt Absorb. Oh my god. Great. Great. That's not what I want from life. Oh my god, this thing's messing me up. Okay. Yeah, what do I swap into? I don't know. Do I just send out an Ultra Ball and hope? Yeah, that's that seems like the easy solution. Wow, that thing had terrible IVs. Except it's Spadef, which was apparently perfect. I'm just gonna eat that thing for sure. But it definitely did some work to us, that's for, for certain. Discharge is a spread move, so that could be good for double battles. And it's got 80. I, I really like having Swift. But um, I'd be willing to give up Shockwave. Thunder Punch is just better anyway. Getting some. Ooh, you turn. Yes, please. Gives us a little bit of momentum. We definitely don't need a bind. That's for certain. I wonder when Seedra happens. I have no idea when Seedra happens. Um. Keep Araquanid leveled up. Seems like a good option. Araquanid doesn't fit on a... I'm, I'm just thinking about it now. It doesn't fit on a, a rain team, necessarily. Oh, man. This is, this is big pivot moments, for sure. We're just gonna swap into Ludicolo and take zero damage. Actually, pretty good damage, all things considered. But uh, we're just going to spam a bunch of Pokeballs at this Whelmer because we've, we're not too concerned. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. God, it's it's weird seeing IVs after every fight. It's, it's not something that exists in the Pokemon games. And I wonder how often you come across a Mon that actually has perfect IVs. Or like a perfect IV. I know a Mon having all perfect IVs is uh, equivalent to finding a shiny. So, pretty unlikely. All right. Sucks to be another water gym leader. <laughs> we we really just be cheesing out all the the water gym leaders in a row and I I love that for us. <laughs> That's some funny ass stuff for sure. You going to curse me? You're gonna try and whirlpool me. That's not gonna do anything. I'm pretty sure we. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> you can't. You can't run from me. You got nowhere to go but down. Dude, Ludicolo is actually okay. It's got. It's got that move. I guess we're swapping in Electabuzz to tank it. I'm not getting hit by bounce on my dang. Not a not a chance, man. There we go. Probably gonna bring Caracosta back in. It's got Shell Smash, so I'm not gonna swap out. I refuse to even give the potential chance of a sweep. I'm, I'm trying to think of like what neutral hit, crit, Shell Smash boosted Caracosta hit would potentially be able to take out Ludicolo, but nothing is really coming up. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to think. I'm like doing all the calculations in my head. I'm not really seeing anything. I'm pretty sure this one's uh, on lock. I'm sure that's pretty safe to say. Solid rock. It's got rock slide. It is gonna take out my like the buzz, but that's okay. He's already like most of the way to 36, which is the max level anyway. I'm not too worried about it. Ludicolo just gets to take the glory for the end here. All right. Team Screw You Waters is a go. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's also the water team in itself, but you know. 
Bruce is great. I love me some... Oh, man. Let's see. We're, we're gonna get rid of Water Pulse. I want to keep, like, Defog... I, I feel like Defog would be really good. I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to imagine what, like, an endgame situation would look like here. You totally rocked that. You're raising some wicked Pokemon. You got this trainer thing down. All right. Golden Pokeball. Seabed or Ice Cave? They're really just going to let me do it to them. <laughs> They're really just letting me do it to them. This is literally the Hoenn adventure. Too much water. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to call it here. I think there's like a return to title and we can always load this back up. But uh, I hope, hang on, you will lose any progress since the beginning of this battle. We haven't done anything in this battle, that's fine. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Poke Rogue. If you'd like to see the rest of this run, uh, let me know. And thank you very much for watching. I had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, make sure you go watch all my other content. I've, I've been working hard. I've been working hard to make entertainment for you all. And I mean, I, mean, I guess it's like playing hard too, but you know, it's a little, little bit of both. Thank you. Thank you very much. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. Boop.